Kane turns on a ball, sends a high fly to left. It's over Riley and off the wall. And Lorenzo Kane starts the night with a double. A good start for the Brewers. Kane at second after his leadoff double. And here comes Gosman with a one-two, and he got him swinging as he chases that off-speed pitch. Gosman gets more chases than any pitcher in baseball. The shadows kind of creepy, and then Christian Yelich can't see. And now a 3 2 that Aguilar hits on the ground towards the middle and through for a base hit. Two out, two run single for Jesus Aguilar. And for all the struggles that Jesus has had this year, and they've been well documented, he's done a good job with runners in scoring position all season long. He hits a fly ball to right center field. Lorenzo Kane in the move to the warning track to make the catch. Lorenzo Kane, one of the best defensive center fielders in the National League, tracks it down, one gone. And a runner aboard for Christian Yelich. Ground ball, weakly hit, right side. Routine play for all these, short throw, perfect. So a relatively quick and easy second inning for Kevin Gosman. No runs, one hit, and one left. We take it to the bottom of the second with the Brewers leading the Braves 2 nothing. Six for 12 so far, and those six hits through three games tying a franchise record. And pulling a line drive base hit over the shift. Seven for 13 to open his time in the majors. Ninth pitch of the at bat. There goes the runner. He puts it in play. Riley's diving into second. Doesn't realize, and this is going to be a double play. He's often moving with a pitch, and it dove in head first. By the time that ball came, falling down to Christian Yelich. And two gone here in the second. Walt Weiss, their bench coach, is telling him, hey, young buck, take, take a little peek over your left shoulder. Moustakis, ground ball down the left field line. It's a fair ball. It's going to end up towards the corner as Braun makes the turn at second. He's going to be held at third on another opposite field double by a Brewers left-handed hitter. Hernan Perez, righty versus righty, pitch coming. Ground ball pulled to third. Donaldson has it, runs to third, inning over. Second and third and nobody out. Bases loaded and one out, and the Brewers fail to score. That could be a turning point in this game. What do we have there? What's our choices? We got some Powerade, some water, gum, and some seeds from uh, O over here. Okay. Which one are you going to go with? Gum. I'm right. good with gum right now. The one two. Punch to left. On comes Braun. Makes the catch. Throws back to second. And he'll take advantage with Acuna coming in. I'm not sure that he was going to try to score had Braun thrown home. Acuna got a late jump going back to tag up. And I think if Ryan Braun throws it home, you're correct, Joe. He would have stopped. But he saw the throw out of his hand going towards second base and just took off. One two pitch coming. Swing and a miss. He struck him out with a high fastball. So a run comes across without the benefit of a hit for Atlanta. Braves strand a couple of more. On to the fourth inning at SunTrust Park. Brewers lead the Braves 2-1. to one. one two on the way. Ground ball out to Dansby. This should do it here for the top of the fourth. And it's a good throw over to first base. And they just get Yelich by a step. And that's a 1-2-3 inning for the first time tonight. Composed by Kevin Gosman. No the 0-2 pitch. Swing and a miss. Chase Anderson with a 1 2 3 inning. Back to back strikeouts, both time with the changeup. Yes, yeah, Monty Grandall and Chase Anderson. What looks like a your night is over hug. Anderson goes four innings in this game, gives up one run. It was unearned. One and two, here it comes. Got him swinging. And that's eight in a row retired for Kevin Gossman. He skies one right side of the infield. Freddie Freeman is there. Catches the pop out, and down they go one, two, three, yet again. So a nice little run for Gosman as he's retired 11 straight. We head to the bottom of the sixth inning. It's a fly ball the other way that sends Yelich back. The rookie's done it again. Opposite field, two run home run, and the Braves have taken the lead. Austin Riley with fire in his eyes and lightning in his hands, and he hits one out of here. The opposite way for Riley, and the Braves have the lead here in the bottom of the sixth inning. He is a treat. So it'll be up to Ryan Braun, and Newcomb will stay on for Braun. <laughs> Gets Braun looking for the fastball. Newcomb able to strand the tying run at third, and we scratch in Atlanta. Not too many better glares from any pitcher in baseball than you see from Jeremy Jeffress. <laughs> oh, oh, man. <laughs> 
Donaldson didn't see that or he might have snarled back at him. Jeffress deals Donaldson swings and a big bounce it is short for Arcia. That'll do it for the seventh. Two balls no strikes Albies gets a fastball and yanks it past a diving here into right. Markakis headed home. Yelich's throw is perfectly done. The reigning MVP showing off the full game tonight. That's a huge out and a run saving play for the Brewers defense. Jackson deals. Arcia punches a bouncer over Freeman into right. Here is headed for third and they've got him cornered with one gone. Oh one to Kane. Ground ball hit to third. It's over the head of Donaldson down the left field line. Here is in to score. RC to third. To second goes Kane. And we're tied 3-3 in the ninth. The Atlanta chop. First it was Arcia. And now it's Lorenzo Kane. Just a little chopper off of the home plate area. And it got over the head of Donaldson down the third base line. And two balls, two strikes. Here comes. He got him on the same pitch. Two gone in the nine. Jackson ready. One two pitch on the way. Hit hard on the ground to short. Dansby fields a tricky hop and throws to Freeman for the out. So the Brewers tie it but they cannot take the lead and the Braves will have the pitcher spot Acuna and Swanson coming up in the bottom of the ninth inning of a 3-3 game. 0-2. Oh, Got him looking, and so on that highly anticipated showdown, Hader against Acuna on three pitches. Hader wins it. To the bottom of the tenth we go. There's another one of those matchups that you buckle up for. Josh Hader against Freddie Freeman to open the tenth. High fly ball to deep right field, back to the chop house. Did he just turn out the lights? He did! A walk-off homer from Freeman, and the Braves win it! And Freddie Freeman is a hero again. His 10th home run of the year. It comes off of Josh Hader. And the Braves have defeated the Brewers. What a thriller here in Atlanta.